welcome back to the channel and another DMK video. So today I'm going to be adding a brand new character into the kingdom from the Lady and the Tramp collection. So he is the very first one in the actual storyline that is permanent content, so it's not going anywhere. You can keep working through your kingdom and uh, you'll eventually unlock him and start collecting for him. But before we get into all the gameplay, of course, don't forget to give this video a big Mickey thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and of course, check out all of my social media links in the description below, including my Twitch page where we are playing Fortnite. And yes, I do play with followers and we do have sub day and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of fun expanding the twitch sort of community and everything with you guys and i really look forward to it now on to the gameplay for disney magic kingdoms so the first thing that um i need to do is have all the tokens for tramp which I have now done. So now I just have to wait eight hours and spend 200,000 magic to get him into my kingdom. Not too bad, you say. Well, it really just depends on how you look at it. I mean, it's not too bad when you have four million magic sort of just kicking around, but I mean, it is, it is harsh on people that, you know, maybe are trying to save up to level up an expensive character, maybe like Shere Khan or something like that, who is well well over 300,000 magic just to max him out. So, I mean, he's a lot. You, you gotta save up your magic and stuff like that. And if you're trying to welcome Tramp at the same time, not ideal because even if you had just enough, you will then have zero, which is never very fun to have zero magic and start from scratch. Believe me, I have done it a few times myself. But, um, you know what? Magic needs to go somewhere, and I mean, I would like to put mine into land. I mean, that's kind of why I save up my magic, but um, until then, characters will do just fine. Of course, attractions will be something that we'll talk about in my next video when I go ahead and uh, build the brand new, the very first brand new attraction for the Lady and the Tramp storyline, which is going to be Tony's Restaurant. So before we get into all, talking too much more about sort of the next step after Tramp, we need to get Tramp. Um, so there is obviously a lot of... Um, sort of time that, you know, you need to sort of wait. This isn't like a character that it's like, oh, you know, wait uh, six minutes or wait one hour. I mean, we're looking at a longer time period. It's not 24 hours. There are some characters in your permanent content storyline, um, you know, that are 24 hours to bring into your kingdom. And some of you may already know that, but some of you newer kingdomers may not. So just something to keep in mind that all characters sort of lengths in terms of welcoming and stuff like that are going to change a little bit as well as how much they cost for magic. So you guys probably remember, um, the permanent content update 2019 that was for DuckTales. You remember how expensive those characters were? Yeah. I'm thinking Lady and the Tramp is going to be a tad more expensive than that, um, including to max out and level up. So with that being said, I may have 4 million magic, but that will go very, very quickly, right? Um, so again, just something that you kind of just need to think about um, is that it will go fast and you know, you kind of just have to spread it out. Don't go rushing things too, too much. Uh, one thing that I know some people do do is they'll go in and they'll be like, oh, I got a concession stand or decoration. It's like, good, I can trade it in for elixirs and then just buy the tokens that I need for the character that I really, really want to, you know, keep working on and max out. I would say hold your horses on that one. Keep your elixirs around for now. You are going to need them. Mr. Incredible is now level seven. Yep, it sure feels great to do good. I think, I think I kind of was doing like Tony the Tiger, you know, like was it Kellogg's, right? Cornflakes, <laughs> they're great. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. Do you guys remember the ad? Oh gosh, this is like a really long time ago. Um, when I first started my kingdom, there was this one and it was for the hockey and stuff. And I always used to show that ad because it was so, so much fun to play. Yeah, that was that was where he'd always say, say that line in there. So it was fun. Um, anyways, Valentine's Day bundle. Valentine's Day is coming up, guys. Do you all have a Valentine? Um, 
So DMK has put out the bundle um, that gives you decorations and stuff like that, which is good. Um, also a concession stand. So it is useful if you guys like are missing cute little concessions that you may want and can't seem to get. Um, I already have all this stuff, so I'm not gonna be investing my real money into that. And then on top of that, guys, when I did click to go to the shop to buy it to show you guys how much it was, it did disappear. So I'm not quite sure where this bundle goes when it disappears. Um, usually it shows up in the little special sort of um, button like right beside where the mail is. That typically is there. Um, you know for us to click and stuff like that and see all the bundles that are there right now including legendary chests and stuff like that and and anything else I mean there's just nothing there's just nothing right now so I'm not quite sure where it went and where to find it so yeah I mean you can go like into your your uh, buildings area and then go ahead and click shop but if there, if there is no shop then there's nothing to click it just goes back to your kingdom so something just interesting there, guys. Something that's interesting. So here is Tramp in the kingdom. So let me know what you think of his welcome screen. I think it's pretty cute for, uh, for a troublesome dog. Ah, what a day. Think I'll get acquainted with this new neighborhood. Quest complete, welcome a rover. Especially when you haven't had breakfast yet. Oh, really? <laughs> So he's got to have breakfast. That is, I guess, we need to send him on, but we need to find him. Where is Tramp? Oh, there he is. Wow. Oh, he's trying to play with the kids. I see what he's doing. He is really getting himself acquainted with the kingdom. There he is, guys. Hi. Arf, arf. <laughs> Let's see, there's gotta be some place around here for a fella to rustle up some food. I thought he was gonna say some grub, and I was like, come on in, Boomba. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Jim Deere and Darling keep me pretty well fed, as far as humans go, but sometimes a guy just needs a little variety. Brunch time! Kingdom Quest, send Tramp to scope out his, I guess, dining options. So he needs to be a level two for this, unfortunately. So let's go ahead here and see if we can do that. Because if we can, then that does mean that uh, we can go ahead and start that quest. There will be for sure the one quest before we build any attraction or unlock it at least to build it. Um, I'm hoping that attraction isn't gonna be like overly expensive, but we'll kind of just have to wait and uh, see on that one. It's a bit iffy for sure, but um, yeah, it is iffy. Um, oh, and what I wanted, to, I just realized, I think I said click like buildings and then click the shop. I think I meant to say shop and then bundles <laughs> um, in terms of like getting into um, into to see about your your options for the purchase. I just thought of that. I was like, did I say click buildings and then yeah, okay. I meant to say if you click at the bottom beside your character where it says characters at the bottom where your storybook is it says shop there so with the little present box so click the shop and then you go ahead and click bundles um now for me that nothing is coming up for that when i click it um, i'm hoping it's just a temporary little glitch maybe that's happening um but if you guys can get there, then that's where you would go if it's working. So if that special button isn't showing like at the top there on um, on your game screen, then that's where you would go if it's gonna work. So just so you guys know. There are a couple of ways to kind of get in there to those promotional offers for sure. So I have enough stuff for Tramp to get to a two. Um, so he is gonna go for that. Now it is 36 seconds to level him up and one of the best features in this game for sure is the fact, and this is like game features, is that the last three seconds on all quests are free. So I love, love, love that. I hope they never get rid of it. Um, it's been like that since day one. So uh, very, very useful when you're leveling up a character for 36 seconds. Tramp is now level two. Now, this is living. 
I agree, my kingdom is pretty amazing. What can I say? I've spent so many hours on it. <laughs> First thing I'd like to do when scoping out new territory like this is get a feel for the locals. We got good locals. We have a lot of locals. You know, meet the new dogs. I'm part of a leash and collar set now, but that doesn't mean I have to limit my social circle. Ooh, do we, we have options, we have dogs. Yes, we do. Who am I thinking of right now? <gasps> Dante, Dante, we have Dante. I said Dante like a bunch of times, but Dante. Besides, when I help a stray dodge the dog catcher, I usually wind up with a new pal in the bargain. Just ask Bull or Peg. Canine compadres. <laughs> Send Tramp to meet some new dogs. Sorry, I, I just couldn't say that without doing a little twist on it. Um, yeah, so he's going to go meet some new dogs. I'm guessing it's going to be Dante, sort of first thought there. Um, I wish we had Bruno. That would be really fun too, but that's from the Cinderella collection. So um, maybe something they could think about expanding. I know I did, I think I did a video like ages ago about that about adding like Jacques and Gus Gus and uh, Bruno and, and things like that. But yeah, I, and also to Lady Tremaine, uh, Anastasia Drizella. Now they did add Anastasia, Anastasia Drizella and Lady Tremaine, I remember in that. But again, we're still missing some of Cinderella's little friends. So I think it would be something one day when we can maybe get her like, um, uh, you know, I don't want to call it like peasant outfit, but like her cleaning look. Um, I don't really want to say casual because I don't think she kind of wanted to, you know, be the way she was. Anyways, what I'm just, just be quiet. You're digging yourself a hole here. Um, basically, you know, again, her sort of cleaning look. Um, if she could have that maybe in the kingdom as an, a new costume. And then what we could sort of have as well is the storyline with those characters. So I think it could be really great um, if we kind of just incorporate all of that together. Now, onto some news, breaking news, because news is obviously very important in our kingdoms because it keeps us sort of up to date with what is going on. So let's talk about Trusty. With his sleepy lifestyle in the neighborhood around Lady and Tramp's home, Trusty is an old friend to both Jacques and Lady. A bloodhound of accomplished lineage, Trusty first appeared in the 1955 animated film Lady and the Tramp. This premium character unlocks for purchase after starting the Welcome a Rover quest for welcoming Tramp and is a great help to players who want to earn tokens for Tramp and Tony. Keep that in mind, guys. Enjoy watching Trusty as he investigates the kingdom with his friends. For players who have already welcomed this reliable companion, level him up to discover these activities. Working Sniffer. Trusty at a level one, he'll have a quest. Trusty wanders the kingdom, nose to the ground, pausing periodically to investigate. Have I ever told you? Question mark. Trusty at a level five with Lady. So that's that's good to know. We need to get him to a five when Lady's unlocked. Trusty checks if he's ever mentioned old reliable before, as Lady sits patiently listening. All right, so I'm liking the sounds of those quests. Um, I obviously do hope to see lots more as well, but I do think that uh, that this is a very, very good good start, obviously, to all of the quests that we will or can see sort of animations for in the kingdom with Trusty, because Trusty, by the sounds of it, is going to be very useful. So Tony, Tony should be the next character after Tramp. So uh, Tramp, obviously, we've got into the kingdom now, but Trusty's still gonna help uh, collect character tokens in order to level them up, because we obviously wanna max them out at some point. So there'll be that, and then obviously for collecting for Tony, like to welcome him, and then 
all that kind of stuff, leveling him up. Um, he's going to be useful for that as well. So I do see that being a huge perk. My guess is, is for like Joe and, and anybody else that they, you know, that we have in that collection, Lady, all that kind of stuff. I think that that's where Jacques is going to come into play as a premium character. Now, Jacques is part of that leaderboard event, right, that we are doing. But the thing is, is that um, it's a little bit different. So Jacques, if we can get him like after this event, or sorry, I guess in the next few days, then that will mean that we'll be prepared, starting to sort of uh, work on leveling him up and all that kind of fun stuff. And then that way we'll be ready for when Lady does become available and stuff like that. Um, he'll probably help with the collection for that. By the sounds of what we just read in the news there, that is sort of what I am thinking. So, uh, Trusty though is still gonna be useful for a bunch of stuff, absolutely, um, with Tony and Tramp. But again, Jock, I'm thinking it's gonna be more like Lady and Joe. So, that, that'll be interesting. And again, if you guys can't manage to get him sort of, um, I guess, in this leaderboard event, don't panic. During the next update, they will put him as a premium character so you guys can buy him for gems or real money. Um, but again, that will be a little bit later on. I am planning to get him in this leaderboard event, unless my game crashes and burns and like can't log in, which literally I have logged in consecutively for a long time, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I will keep going. There, there will be no stopping me signing in and collecting. So um, yeah, I am really looking forward to getting Jacques into the kingdom very, very soon. So I can't wait to give you my progress for that, but that will have to wait until the next video. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you for the next one. Bye.